All right, so let's take a look at the agents as they're training. As you can see right now, they're kind of dumb. They just kind of go forward, back, left, right, and discreetly. But after a while, once that orange block touches the goal, they realize that in order to get a reward, they need to push the orange block towards the goal. Over time, we should see that they'll get smarter and smarter. So let's just check on them again here in just a minute. Okay, so it's been about a minute. Let's check on the agents. We can see that there's a lot more green, which means that they're scoring a lot more goals. The total training time so far has been less than two minutes. So you can see how in a simple environment, the agent can learn pretty quickly what it needs to do. Now, once we've gotten performance that we like, and in our case, since 5.0 is the highest possible reward, and we're already at 4.96, I'm pretty happy with it, we can now press Control plus C to early terminate the training process. And what this is going to do is save our model and export the all important bytes file for us to use. Once our brain is trained in a way that we like, we can now take that trained brain and import it back into our Unity project. Once the training process is fully terminated, we can go find the bytes file. If we look in the Python subdirectory of our GitHub repo that we cloned, we can look under models and then find the name of the run ID that we put in. In our case, that's push1. Within the subfolder of that run ID, there'll be a dot bytes file. This file corresponds to the frozen neural net graph that we can then import back into Unity. And importing is as easy as simply dragging and dropping into the assets folder. Once our model has been dragged and dropped, we can simply switch to an internal brain and drag the model from the assets window into the graph model placeholder. From here, we simply press play and we can watch our agent behave just as we've trained it to.